I don't know what is it about the car videos that people like, but some people be like, they like when I'm in my car and I'm talking and giving some game about love magic. I don't know what it is. But anyway, what I want to say today is stop the sucker shit. Stop showing that you are emotionally involved. See, let me explain something to you. This one client hit me up today. It was like, you know, you know, everything's going great, but you know, she was, you know, uh, she was on the phone with a guy and said, I'm out with my friend. So now we're friends. We've been fucking for a year and we're friends. See, listen, I had to tell him, get out that. Let's just say this. Get out of that maggotry. What I really want to say, I can't say it because I don't need YouTube strikes. But I will say, get out of that maggotry. You are becoming the woman. See, I had to tell him, you know, can you please just stop that bitch ass shit? You're acting like a whole bitch. Because usually what happens is that when you're fucking with a woman, you know, you fucking her after some time. She usually comes up with the, so what are we? Are we exclusive? You know, are we exclusive? I know you guys have been, you know, you, what they call it, high-valued men. Men have been in that situation where you're fucking a female for some time. And then one day she drops it on you. Well, she doesn't drop it on you. She asks you, what are we? Are we exclusive? Are we in a relationship? I know you guys have been there. But now for a guy to be fucking a female and then to ask her, what, so what are we? Are we in a relationship? Dude, I mean, I mean, the world has been turning around, you know, when you, you find women today that's getting on their knees and proposing to men. I don't know. That shit is weird as fuck to me. I don't come from an era of that, like that, you know? But I guess this is a new era. But if that, you know, if that's not, if it's not the new era, get out your fucking feelings and stop being a bitch. This is what I'm saying to you. Some of you, some of you customers out here, I mean, some of you guys out here, you fucking act like fucking women. Are you a fucking woman? Do you have a cunt? If that's the case, if not, you need to fucking put your cock between your legs and cluck like a fucking chicken. I'm just saying, that's what you guys are acting like. You guys are acting like fucking bitches, yo. Act, stop acting like a fucking bitch. Oh, are we in a relationship together? Why are you calling me a man? Yo, excuse me. Why are you calling me a friend? You know, I should be, you know, why, why are you still talking to guys? Are you in a fucking relationship? That's the question I want to ask you. Are you in a fucking relationship? Why the fuck are you questioning a female like that you're not in a relationship with? And let me say something to you. Some of you women are the same way. You're not in a relationship with a guy, but then again, you're on some question. Oh, you know, you put up an attitude because you're talking to a female on the phone. Are you in a relationship? Is there a title? Stop the maggotry, please. You look desperate. You look weak. Let me tell you something. When you're out here acting on that emotional level, people can use that to exploit you. See, some people went, listen, I've been, I've been in situations where I went to see where certain women's head was at. And I would act like, I would act like I'm drunk. I'm drinking with them whatsoever. I'd act like I was drunk. I would say certain things to make them think, you know, just to hear what their reaction would be. I would get into that emotional zone and I would see how quickly the roles would change. I'm acting like a sin. I'm acting like I'm emotionally involved. Just to see where they at. And you, one thing I realized, when I started showing that I cared, and I started really, you know, just showing that, you know, of interest in being on the emotional sensitive shit, you know what they did? They turned up on me. They turned up on me. They went 1090 on me. They, their whole attitude flipped, and now they started becoming verbally aggressive and abusive. Like, see? See what happens? When you give a woman an inch, or you give some, I'm not going to say a woman. When you give your lover an inch, they're going to take a mile. Because as soon as they know that they got you in that vulnerable position, that's when they're going to start to try to control you. That's when they're going to start trying to manipulate you. And that's when they're going to start trying to play all types of psychological captive games with you. So this is what I'm going to say to you. If you're not in a relationship, you gotta have confidence to know what you what you got in your hands. Because the thing is, listen, you gotta be, you know, you gotta understand that what you have in your hand is gonna take care of the problem. Why are you questioning people? Why are you showing emotional sensitivity? You look like a you look weak. You look weak, and if anything, it's not gonna accomplish anything. What is getting mad going to do for you? What is showing a sense of an attitude going to do for you, but hurt you? What's it going to do other than that? Hurt. 
Now the person says, you know what? You're too emotional. I don't want to be around you. Now you close the door of communication. Now you don't know what's happening when you're doing your love magic. See, this is what happens. When you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. So with that said, I'm out.